Hello and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial video brought to you by Tormach. In this video I'm going to be showing how to do tabs and or bridges in SprueCam using it as it is right now. As you can see I have a bit of an emblem here and I'm going to be cutting a curve around it. And so first thing we'll do is I've already set up my 2D contouring um, operation so now all I have to do is select my curve so I'm going to make sure that the curve the edge selection tool is turned on I'm going to double click on one of the edges and it's gonna pick all the tangent edges now I will pick click on curve now what I'm going to do is drag this little flag all the way around and I'm going to stop it right there and now I'm going to click drag the little circle so that it starts right there okay now I'm going to double click that curve again click curve to add that one and I'm going to essentially do the same thing I'm going to drag that little flag so it starts there and I'm going to drag that little circle all the way around to that point. I'm going to double click on the edge again, click curve, drag the flag all the way over to here, click and drag the circle to here, and then one more time I'm going to double click the edge click curve, drag that flag to there, let's see, drag the circle to there, and we'll drag that flag over to here. Okay, now we can kind of see there's a little gap in between each one of those edges. I'm going to just come over here and click run. Now we'll click simulate. And I'm going to click play. And we can see the cutter comes down, goes to the next, up and down, up and down, and leaves those little tabs in there. So that's one way of doing tabs. That would be doing multiple contours. Now we have another way of doing tabs. So we'll go back to the machining tab. I'm going to eliminate all of those contours. So we'll clear all those out. We're going to go to 2D geometry. And you can see I have the, uh, the grid system turned on. And what I'm going to do is click on circles, circle definition center. I'm going to come over to the top center of the part. I'm going to click where it looks like it's joining. And I'm going to move a little circle out. And I'm going to do that same thing all the way. Let's see, get a little closer. You can fine-tune it a little better. All the way around the part. Let's go right here. And right there. Okay, so we've got four circles now all the way around the part. We will go into our machining tab. And we have the 2D contouring highlighted. We're going to click on fixtures. We're going to click on fixtures. We're going to click on extrude. Find our 2D geometry. Pick all three of those circles. We're going to make the top level a little higher, the bottom level negative an eighth of an inch, and click Add. So now we have a fixture at each one of these points. Now we'll go to Job Assignment and 2D Contouring. We'll click Curve. Make sure our Edge Selection tool is on. 
see here. Oh, there it is. Double click the curve, makes it all the way around. Click on curve to add it in there. Click run. And we'll click simulate and see what this looks like. Pretty much get the same result because sprue cam is not going to touch a fixture. So you can see there's two ways, uh, not two, two terribly difficult ways. The other way you could do is you could possibly import uh, a small solid that would be, um, that would look like a little tab, and you could put import that into the uh, the fixtures location and move it around. It would do the same thing as extruding these little circles. So that's been how to do tabs and bridges, two different ways. Um, using Sprucam as it is right now, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.